Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Today I'm back with some new crafty inspiration using the newly released Just Quillen and the Birthday Slimline Tag by Crafty Meraki. First of all, I'm starting with an A2 sized panel and I'm going to die cut this birthday from the Birthday Slimline Tag out of this panel. Now I'm making sure that I am adhering this birthday straight on there because I will use the panel that is left over as well as a die cut. After die cutting it I am assembling everything back together using some purple tape just to keep everything in place. Because I am going to be stamping on top of the birthday also overlapping with the panel and I want these images to be one complete whole image um, afterwards when we are playing with some dimension. So as you can see I'm just adding some purple tape and then I'm adding everything back in place. Now once I have done that, I am going to take the stamp set Just Quillen, which is an adorable stamp set and we have this little strawberry inside of this set. Now I am going to stamp this strawberry multiple times all over this birthday, making sure to overlap a bit outside of the word and just continue until I'm happy with the amount of strawberries I have. Now a small tip that I can give you is to have a piece of acetate in your misty. As you can see me doing here, I don't need to clean that strawberry, I can just replace it using the acetate so that any leftover ink on there will not be transferred on my panel while I am wiggling this image around until I like placement. And then when I want to stamp it out, when I'm happy with placement, I just remove the acetate again and that's how I quickly can stamp out several strawberries. Now for the coloring of these strawberries, I decided that everything that was outside of the birthday image, I just wanted to be really soft colored in. And then the parts that are in the birthday itself, that I wanted to have some more dimension and some shadow. It was the first time that I tried it and actually I really really like how the end result turned out. So. I hope to be able to make a similar card like this in the near future. So as you can see here, nothing fancy, I'm just going over all the strawberries using the lightest color that I picked out of my Copic markers to color these images in. Also the same for the greenery, I will also use one of the lighter colors. And just softly go over everything. I'm not blending, not shading anything. I will only be doing that on the parts that are overlapping with the birthday. But I must admit I also contemplated on just leaving it like this because it's a cute background. Um, but well, maybe another time. So I'm fixing some mistakes using the colorless blender. It's one of those markers that I cannot lift it out. I like to color everything inside the lines and if I am not doing that, I'm happy that I can fix it by just using this colorless blender. Now I'm removing the birthday. I'm making sure that I'm keeping those inserts because those are important later on. Um, you will notice that I forgot about them while filming, but I added them. And as I only have the birthday now, I can really clearly see where I am going to add more dimension on these strawberries. So I'm just doing as always. I am going from darkest to lightest. I know that there is now a base coat as some of you like adding first before starting to blend. This was just to help me color everything in while everything was still assembled. Um, but anyway... However you like coloring, that's the right way to do it. I'm just moving my way across these strawberries exactly the same each time. And actually since these are quite simple and tiny images, it went really quickly as well. 
So I had a lot of fun creating this background and actually after adding a bit of ink blending and assembling everything together I would also have liked this card for someone who is into fruits you can definitely do that or with other images from your stamp sets or if you recall the baby set the O baby that was released um, in week two of this Meraki-versary those images also really are stunning to use like this I think but to come back on this card, I decided to also use a hedgehog that is inside of this stamp set. It's such an adorable stamp set, this one. Um, and I really wanted to feature these adorable hedgehogs. So that's why I decided to add one more on this card and not leave it with all the strawberries themselves. Also adding some darker shades on the greenery of the strawberries. And then the background coloring and the sentiment is almost finished. So at this stage I was contemplating whether it was just fine like this or it was a bit too light. And then I decided to put the soft pink on the strawberries on the outside. Maybe I could just add some more pinks to the edges of this panel as well as on the birthday. I also think that you can leave the ink blending of the birthday or just off the edge and then just ink blend on the birthday, whatever you like. But I'm really glad with how this card turned out. I personally find it one of my favorites of all the crafty inspiration that I did so far for the new releases. Um, so I don't know about you, but I am really liking uh, this type of card. So as you saw, the birthday can also be just added like that um, with a bit of dimension I think it could be really fun but why don't add a bit of pink on there as well so I just really softly ink blended the same pink the worn lipstick distress ink on top of this birthday and then later on I will add this all on top of a card base and just add some dimension behind the birthday as well to give it something more. So now that the ink blending is done, I'm going to use this adorable hedgehog to add to my card. Now I know this one isn't carrying strawberries, but it's quite cute I think um, that this one is eating while there is some food on the background of my card. I stamped these images, the strawberries and this one, out using the Crunchy Leaf from Longfawn. Uh, which is a brown ink and actually it really gives this image such a soft look and I really like that about it. So I'm working my way from darkest to lightest and I'm going back and forth between the blending. Um, this paper is Transodite Perfect Coloring Paper which is a really Copic friendly or alcohol marker friendly paper. Um, but most of the times I'm not really happy after one layer with the blend so I at least add two and if needed I just continue with adding layers and layers until I'm happy with the blend. But whatever order you prefer to color with your Copic markers, as long as you're enjoying the coloring then that's just fine. Um, I just always go from darkest to lightest. So here I'm trying to add some more shadow, some more dimension. Fixing some mistakes, because those are always there with me. And then I continue. So it's only one image, but I think it's so cute to add this to the cards. I'm really glad that I started coloring this one. Because um, I always try to use the images that I color.
and then later on when it's colored in I will use the matching dies to cut it out however if you don't have the matching dies I think this image is quite simple to cut out using your scissors as well if you are like me I personally prefer dice matching dice always um, because it just helps and I love that white border when I do fuzzy cutting I'm truly not an expert in it and I find it really difficult to have that nice white border as I would have with dice so So on to my second layer. And then I will use the same colors of reds for the tomato as I used for the strawberries just to keep it simple and cute at the same time. I'm not going to mix and match several red combinations together. And once that's done, that's all the coloring for today. And we will just start assembling this card together. Which was quite a fun part actually. You will not see everything. As I said in the beginning, I forgot to film um, like the inlaying of the tiny pieces. Um, but that was actually the loveliest part. Because that's like fitting in a puzzle. And I just love doing that as well. So here I'm just making sure that I'm adding some adhesive roller onto my panel. I am filling it completely because I have lots of areas to cover. I'm first adding the bigger panel and then I'm going to add that birthday using some dimension. These are strips, adhesive strips um, from Diaries. Um, also really handy if you are going to make shakers uh, <laughs> but in this case I just decided on using these because they were small enough to fit on the script and if you remove the backing you can really twist and turn it a bit more if needed um, so this was just the easy option for me today And once I am sure that I have enough adhesive on there, I'm going to add it to this panel. Now, as I use this dimension for the birthday and the hedgehog is going to be sort of on top next to the birthday on the bottom, I could use the same adhesive over there, uh, but I decided to use Scotch 3M foam tape because it's the same height. And normally here I would start inlaying those tiny pieces that are still on my purple tape from the beginning. Uh, but I totally forgot. So at the end I will show you this card without the tiny pieces adhered. But I added it afterwards. So in the pictures and everything it's all inlaid on there. So now I am adding that hedgehog and I know that I earlier said that it's the same height but it is not. Um, it's half the size sort of. Um, so I just doubled up the scotch tree and foam tape uh, and this way it was the same height. Um, and I tested it out several times before adding it onto the panel. And that is my card. Now if you want you can always add some glossy accents. I think that would be nice as well. But I decided to keep it like this. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And of course that you are still enjoying the Meraki-versary. I wish you all a fabulous day. Bye!